You said, I'm all in. Were you really all in? Let me tell you what the cost of being all in is. Early mornings, late nights, being misunderstood, having very few friends, being your own cheerleader. Are you those things? channel so as you can see we're in the booth today but we're about to go out of the booth and I'm gonna help y'all so this is gonna be a customer request video pretty fast pretty uh, basic of what you need to get started to do your own projects at your house your own paint work your own body work or you can spray your own race car or whatever and what you should probably go to the store and buy if you're a beginner and you're just starting out now you don't need a paint booth you don't need all these fancy things but there's a couple things that you probably should have and we're gonna run down them real quick. Let's roll. So first off, shout out to uh, the gentleman that recommended this video because this is an excellent video. So let's start right here. So when you get to the paint part of your car, you're gonna need some tape. So we're gonna show you that in uh, my supply room. And then you're gonna need this box of plastic. So when I show you the plastic, this is what this plastic is for. This masks the car off, that way you don't have paper everywhere. You don't really wanna use paper anywhere. You can only imagine if you had to cover this whole car with paper, like it's just not not right and you don't want to use plastic from like home depot or lowe's or a home improvement box store because it's not designed uh for painting this plastic right here says paint this side okay paint will stick to this side of the plastic and not flake off if you spray with just any ordinary plastic the the dried base coat stuff like that can shoot off into your paintwork and uh completely trash your you trash your work so you want to make sure you get plastic for actually painting cars you should be able to get at your local paint supplier or amazon or whatever like that and i'll show you the part numbers and everything uh set of wheel covers or you can use your plastic we've we'll, we've showed in videos how to back tape okay and you can use plastic so i went over all that on the channel um, but you could pick these up from harbor freight uh wheel covers so one thing you probably want to wipe down with uh, is going to be a wax and grease remover. So you probably want to grab your wax and grease remover from anywhere. Uh, you can buy this from your normal auto parts stores, Advance, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Napa, CarQuest, whatever, uh, or your paint supplier. So you're going to want some wax and grease remover to wipe, uh, to wipe down. And then, of course, you're going to want your painting mask uh, for when it's time to actually paint. To get started, you don't need tack rags. If you want to grab tack rags, you can. This just gets a cleaner job, but more than likely where you're painting at, um, you and the environment that you're painting in is gonna be your worst enemy. And that tack rag is probably not gonna actually do that much. But if it's in your budget, grab you a box of tack, rag, tack rags. Now this is our next one that we have prepared to go through paint. Uh, I'm about to get this taped up as soon as I'm done uh, shooting this video for y'all and we're gonna run that through. For your plastic, so this is the plastic that I use. Uh, it's a Vitec. Uh, tear resistant paint adhesion. You can see right there, it says excellent paint adhesion. It also clings to the vehicle. So that's what you want. Like this is actually um, plastic made for vehicles. So search Google, YouTube, Amazon, or YouTube, <laughs> Google, eBay, Amazon, whatever for that part number right there. And you should get that, you know, or something similar. So that's what you, you definitely want your plastic for painting. Uh, of course you need a paint gun. But something as simple as a Harbor Freight paint gun will work perfectly fine to get you started with. Now, you're going to want some strainers. There's no reason to buy these, though, because most of the time, whoever sells you your paint will give you free strainers also. And then you're going to want a box of mixing sticks. Again, you can get these for free. People sell them, but there's no reason to buy them because you can get these free from your uh, paint supplier normally. Uh, to do your body work, you're going to need a 2K primer. Don't waste your money on a 1K primer. A 1K primer would be like this right here. This is a 1K primer, it's in a rattle can. Um, 1K means one part, 2K means two parts. So we have our primer and then we have our actual um, hardener. So there's two parts. Now, if you're on a super low budget, skip the one to 2K, just roll with the 1K, but you're really setting yourself up for not that great of work by doing the, uh, the 1K. You can buy the 2K primer in a quart to save yourself some money, but 2K primer is where it's at. I have videos on my channel covering this. Just search my channel, V Paint and Paper Hustle, plus add the words primer to it, and you'll probably find you some pretty healthy, healthy, helpful videos uh, for that. Probably want to grab you some fisheye eliminator uh, just in case you get in a bind because when you need this, uh, it's normally last minute when you're in the middle of painting 
and that's when you're not gonna have time to run to the store so go ahead and grab you some fish eye eliminator if you want uh, i've also covered this on my channel uh, this is when you run into contamination from not cleaning that great um, and this will save your butt uh, you don't need accelerator you can hold off on all that you pretty much don't need nothing else uh, if you're gonna be painting plastic or metals or anything you're gonna want some adhesion promoter so this is bulldog this is what we use it helps make paint stick blah 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 we've went over this a bunch on the channel definitely grab yourself some bulldog if you're gonna be uh doing that but before we make paint stick we need to clean it so grab you some dawn dish soap or liquid dish soap this is the food lion brand this is just the knockoff brand so grab you some soap you're going to use soap and water and then you're going to use scuff pads to prep uh, most parts we've went over all these steps on the channel this is not going to be the video to go in step how to use it this is just the list so this is scotch bright there's the part number uh this is a 3m product uh this is the burgundy scuff pads uh you can also get gray scuff pads but we use burgundy on everything. Uh, the gray is a little finer and it's not as hardcore, uh, but we use literally burgundy on everything. My setup is pretty basic, so it's gonna be excellent for y'all um, that's starting out. So we've scuffed it, we're scuffing our parts, we're cleaning our parts, uh, showed you how to make paint stick, showed you how to uh, protect the vehicle, what you use. Uh, tape wise, I only use three pieces or three different sizes, three quarters, inch and a half, and two inch so there's there's the three that i use uh let's see here i'll show you the differences if you're just getting started out okay and i had to go to the paint store or i had to come here on the weekend and grab only one of these to take with me to do a side job at somebody else's house uh the one that i would choose is this right here the inch and a quarter so the inch and a quarter is fat enough to make your job go extremely fast we've went over on the channel how to mask up cars and tape uh, you can go back and look in our playlist uh, for painting projects. We have a bunch on that. Um, but that this will work pretty good. This saves you money, okay? So if you want bang for the buck, this saves you money, but this can get a little aggravating to work with. And then this covers the most fastest, but this is the most expensive. So this is excellent for taping up grills or mirrors or stuff like that. Um, you know. But if you had to only buy one because you're on a budget, I would buy a sleeve of inch and a half which is what this is it's a whole sleeve of inch and a half uh, we go through a bunch of it so jumping back over here we've got our scotch bright we've got our body filler so this is the body filler that we use it's a lightweight filler uh, there's the part number you can search amazon ebay again for all of these products you should be able to get them to your door uh, once you do your body filler you will have pinholes i've also went over that on the channel if you go to the blue chicago grudge car fox body that we did i went over a ton of information in that video here's the dolphin glaze that we use to fill in our pinholes and our body filler uh, you can also use primer people are not going to like that i'll probably get some hate comments for it uh, but i do use primer sometimes to fill in uh holes pinholes in body filler but that is incorrect you should use the dolphin glaze there's the part number for the dolphin glaze uh up0714 uh so probably grab you some of that but if you're on a budget again skip this one just get you some body filler stay away from the red bondo brand from like the part store that stuff is really hard to sand get you some lightweight filler uh it's it's way easier to sand your filler is going to come with hardener and your dolphin glaze should come with hardener at most places uh mixing board like this will make your life way easier it comes with one spreader uh there's the part number for the mixing board um, this allows you as you can see to mix your filler on here and then what you can do this has tear off sheets but if you're on a budget just use some cardboard or something but this makes your life really easy because then you can just come right here tear off your sheet and now you have a fresh sheet to start sanding on okay now as far as sanding goes uh the primary stuff that we use in this shop is going to be 80 grit which is right here okay this is our 80 grit sunmite is the brand and then we're going to have our 180 grit well that's 320 let's see here our 180 grits right here also sun mic okay and then we're going to have 320 so primary the only um sandpaper i use is 80 grit 180 and 320 that's for pretty much everything um you don't need to buy a long block if you're starting out and doing a project unless you really want to long block something um, I rarely, rarely ever use the long block. Uh, you're going to need a DA sander. So this is Harbor Freight. This is my primary one that I use for everything. This thing is amazing. So definitely grab you a DA sander. Maybe go ahead and grab you a sponge type uh, hand block just in case you need it. But again, this is a not necessarily needed item. And then definitely some guide coat. So we went over how to use this guide coat 
uh, for your filler. So this is going to be 38203. Uh, so this is going to be for your body working process. Um, I think that's pretty much for your body work. You've got your sandpaper, you got your filler, you got your mixing board, um, and then you have your wax and grease remover, and you have your primer. That's going to pretty much be the gifs of your uh, thing. I'll show you the toolbox that all of our body works in. Uh, another thing we use is these right here. So a little, uh, uh, what's this? <laughs> My mind just went blank. A measuring stick. Uh, you could put a pencil in this side and draw uh, curves around wheel wells. I've showed that in previous videos. So them two items, pencils to mark uh, highs and lows uh, so you don't forget stuff. Body hammers, which you don't need when you're getting started. There's another form of a mixing board to mix body filler on. Some different spreaders. I don't advise to use these hard spreaders. They actually suck we never ever use them uh, i always use the the flexible spreaders like this and if you buy one of these it's going to come with one spreader uh to get you started but you can buy these from harbor freight and stuff like that and any anywhere it sells body filler will also sell the spreaders uh, let's see here more body hammers slide hammers but that stuff's advanced like you don't really need that stuff to get started um paint wise if you're doing base coat clear coat you're just going to need your base coat okay for me my base coat needs to be reduced so you're going to need to be a reducer this is going to change depending on what product you're working with so you need to ask your supplier and then you're going to need a clear coat so this is the omni 270 that we use nicer clear and this is our lower uh level vitec clear uh that we use so clear coat base coat reducer filters mixing sticks um mixing cups your whoever you buy your paint for them should be able to buy you know get you mixing cups um paint gun i think that's about it i think that's pretty much going to get you rolling you're going to need some paper towels okay so let's see here is there a part number easy to access i'll just show you all that you should be able to search that amazon ebay whatever uh, i don't want to dig all this out to uh show a part number but you need towels that are made for uh, paint body work if you use normal shop towels that will leave lint behind and um, that's just going to contaminate and get all in your paint process process so you want actual paint and body work towels refinishing prep towels uh, make sure you get you know them so besides that i think that's pretty much going to be it i think that's pretty much enough to get you started that's the very basics of it um, if you pretty much run out and grab all that maybe even some of this right here so this is just uh paper up here um you know to mask up with you can get this from the same place you get your plastic or your paint supplier or whatever it's masking paper uh sometimes paper is easier or better to use than plastic you know plastic we use for a ton but sometimes we put paper over headlights and stuff like that uh, just depending on what we're doing but that should get you started and that should get you rolling and pretty much get you uh going on your project if you have any other questions or you have a viewer request video leave them in the comments below and i'll try to do them for you just like i did this video thanks y'all